Sasha Quince and I am a yoga and wellness expert and I've actually also just had a baby so I am in the process of getting my core strength back. I'm a core strength vinyasa um, teacher and have been specializing in this style of yoga for a really long time. So I'm really excited to share with uh, beginners or just kind of highlight some of the important elements that you should be looking for when you're dealing with the core and when you're trying to strengthen the side waist so that you don't harm your back in the process. So let's go through a few moves here, just highlighting what type of alignment you're looking for and some of the misalignment I see a lot in classes as well. So coming to a uh, seated position, plant your feet out in front of you. And we wanna work with a muscle called the quadratus lumbar muscle, which aligns the lower back spine right here. So often what you see in core poses is a dipping of the lower back and a rounding out that we do when we're in our office chair. We want to sweep that lower back in and up the whole time and press the bones of the bottom, the sit bones, down into the earth to create a rooting effect as we lift through the core. So starting with our first position, we'll butterfly our feet open, nice and wide. Bring the hands together and just sweep your arms forward on your inhale. And then as you exhale, nice wide arms, lift the feet up into the air. So I could totally round back like this, but I want to lift the quadratus lumborum up into the air and stay nice and lifted through the core. So inhale and exhale. Keeping the feet wide takes the pressure off the hip creases as well. Inhale, exhale, sit bones lift, lower back draws in and up. Do this in front of a mirror so you can tell if you're rounding and falling into your lower back or you can stay nice and lifted by really using the deeper core and spinal muscles. Inhale and exhale. Let's do about three more. Now, if you want to intensify this and you check on um, my channel, the belly bonfire breathing instruction, you can add that where you would inhale into the belly and you would exhale from your pelvic floor muscles to create a little bit more power to the posture. Very good. All right, for the next one, we'll place the feet together. So this is a nice beginner variation that I've been working with. Make Charlie's Angel Mudra pointing the index finger and lacing the others. You inhale back, and you exhale to lift. Inhale, lengthen. So notice you're not rounding the lower back out. You're sweeping it in and up on the inhale, and exhale, lift through the pelvic floor muscles. And this is a wonderful variation just to stay at, but if you're feeling for more, you could take it up a notch by crossing one ankle over the other. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift. Inhale. This is pretty tough for me right now, so it's definitely a great pose for those kind of just getting into core strength. Very good, and slowly release. So those are just two great poses to practice. Remember that if you start to feel it more in the lower back, then it just means you need to keep the feet closer to the floor to build the strength in the lower back to support the core muscles as well. But a few reps of those, um, and you can really start to feel what you're doing in the body. And then if you couple it with the belly bonfire breath, also here on my channel, you get amazing effects, speeding the metabolism, stimulating digestive tract, and just allowing the core muscles to work from the inside out. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, for more of my videos on Core Strength Vinyasa, visit sashaquinceyoga.com. Namaste.